Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and I'm here to show you how to solo Animal Kingdoms. It's designed by Steven Aramini, and it's soon to be published by Galactic Raptor Games. This game is going to be on Kickstarter uh, starting on January 8th, 2019, and Carla Kopf from Weird Giraffe Games is involved with this project, and she is the um, designer of the solo bot that I'm going to show you. And as you know, I really enjoy her solo bots. So let's see how it looks. Animal Kingdoms is a relatively straightforward and fast playing area control game where we are trying to control these kingdoms by playing beast cards and placing out our influence tokens. Um, so basically we'll be playing cards, putting out influence cubes, and trying to see if we can maintain dominance in kingdoms over the course of the game. Setup is very simple. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take um, sets of three of these little tokens, which are going to help us assign point values for each of the three ages in the game per kingdom. So that's something that will change during each game. So now that we've set these out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them and we're gonna put them in ascending order. So basically the points that you can get for an age increase as the game goes by. So in this case, this will be five, five, seven. Ooh, 10, eight, eight, 10. That's a wealthy little kingdom over there. Uh, and then we have seven, eight, nine. We'll have six, six, and nine. And then five, six, seven. So this is randomized every game. The other thing that's gonna be randomized is our set of decrees. So at the beginning of each of the three ages, we're gonna trade out the decrees that govern our ability to place animal cards and therefore influence tokens in each of the kingdoms. So let's just put some out face down and see what we ended up with for this first age of our game. So what are our placement rules going to be? This one is any other kingdom's rank. Ooh. No other kingdom's rank. Ooh. Same rank or beast. So the same as one that's already in this kingdom. Alternating even odd. So basically each of these cards is going to have a beast and a rank, which is the number. So when they refer to rank, we're talking about the number. When we're talking about beast, we're referring to the beast type that is depicted on the card. So any other kingdom's rank means that you can play the same rank as any card that's currently the top card in another kingdom. If there are no other cards played, you can play whatever you want, which is something that I'll probably be taking advantage of on the first turn. Uh, no other kingdom's rank means that you can't play a card that is the same rank as any other top card in another kingdom. And then same rank or beast refers to either the number on the card or the animal. Alternating even odd refers to rank. And then our last one, equal or lower than the lowest number. So basically we're not gonna be, we're gonna have to be playing the lowest cards we can over here potentially. So that's an interesting set of decrees. We are gonna be governed by these placement rules. Sadly, our AI opponent is not, which is gonna create some extra challenges for us as we go. So now we're all set up and ready to go. And the good news is that this game is super easy to get started with. So I'm gonna be purple and the AI is gonna be white. And I'm just gonna start by drawing four cards. One, two, three, and four. The AI starts with me drawing just a robot bonus card for them. So what that's gonna mean is that each of the cards in here will have the rank and a beast. And if the card that we draw on the robot turn for the robot matches either the beast or the rank of this bonus card, they'll get to play the card we drew and the bonus card. So the robot gets a chance to double up on us sometimes, which is not good. So now it's my turn to play, and there's basically three things I can do. The one I'm going to be doing most often is playing a card and placing an influence cube, um, because that's how I start getting dominance over kingdoms. Um, before the robot player has withdrawn, which will be most of this turn, um, I will be able to also rally, which means that I can essentially scrap my hand or part of my hand and draw back up to four, as well as collect a victory point. I can also choose to withdraw, but I'd really rather not do that. The way I want to withdraw at all, if I do, is by claiming a capital city. So these cities up here are called capital cities. You cannot place an influence cube in one of them until every other space in a kingdom is full. Once you claim a capital city, um, you basically get to keep a cube in that, in one of these council spaces for the next couple of ages, which gives you an advantage in the next round because you already have a cube in a given kingdom. But once you place in a capital space, you're out of the round. So 
the AI can't place in any capitals until I either place a capital city myself or the whole board is full and there's nothing else to do. So hopefully we won't get to that point. Anyway, it is my turn now and I'm gonna choose a card to play. So this one says any other kingdoms rank. Um, I really want to get a foothold in these two kingdoms because they're just worth so much in terms of points. So I'm gonna start actually by putting this six here. And the reason I'm going for a six is because this is equal or lower than the lowest neighbor and I don't wanna push myself too low too quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a cube here. I draw a card. Now it's the AI's turn and their turn is actually also very streamlined, which is one of the things I particularly love about Carlo Cop's solo bots. Basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna draw a card and if it's four to eight, then I will place it in the corresponding kingdom in terms of number of territories to claim. So four, five, six, seven, or eight. If it's one, two, or three, um, then the AI is going to place the card wherever I just placed my card. So it'll just come and hang out with me in an awkward and unwelcome fashion. If I've already claimed a capital city, it won't do that, but that's a very end of the round kind of thing. So let's see what the AI has done. All right, it's gonna go for an eight. So it's gonna come here and play an eight. So you might have noticed the decree is equal or lower than the lowest neighbor. So I couldn't play an eight, but the robot is a dirty cheating robot and is definitely allowed to place that eight. So now it's my turn, let's see what I'd like to do. So now I can place any other kingdom's rank, which means that to place another cube here, I'd have to place an eight, yikes. This one says no other kingdom's rank. That sounds kind of good. Why don't I put, let's see, let's go ahead and put a three over here. That way I can start working on this kingdom as well. So I'm gonna pick up a card and it'll copy with a five on, all right. And then the AI got a five. So what that means is it's going to come here and not only does it come here once, but the AI bonus card also had a five on it. So that jerk is gonna come here twice. How rude. So the AI is really fighting me for this kingdom right now. I have to decide if I wanna put another cube in here and maybe trigger a battle layer or if I wanna let it have it. I think we know what I want. I want to fight. The robot now has a new bonus card and it's my turn. So I think the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I want to place another cube here to keep the AI from totally getting it away from me because I can at least place a capital and win it if that's what I choose to do later in the round. So this is no other kingdoms rank. So not a six, not an eight. I got plenty of cards that aren't a six and aren't an eight. So why don't we stick my lizard over here? and I will place a cube. Now I'm gonna draw up. This kingdom is looking appealing because I have all these copies, but we'll see. All right, and now I'm gonna draw an AI card. So it's drawn a three. So what's gonna happen is I just placed a card here. A three, because it's under four, means that the AI is gonna come try to hang out with me. However, the only space that's left here is this capital city. So instead, the AI is gonna move clockwise and place a cube here which locks up my ability to place here because it says same rank or beast. Now I need a three or a red panda to put anything in this kingdom and I lost my momentum there. So now I have to figure out what else to do. So what I'd like to do is set myself up to put another cube here, but because the decree says any other kingdom's rank, I don't have an eight, a three, or a three left to play. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a seven right here and place a cube. It helps to have some territory in multiple kingdoms anyway, because you at least get second place points at the end of any age. So I'm gonna draw up, and now the AI will draw. They've drawn an eight. So the AI is also gonna come here and hang out with me. No, it's already been here. How rude. Okay, so the AI is here, and let's see what I wanna do. Yeah, I wanna go with my original plan which is I'm gonna play any other kingdom's rank, which in this case is gonna be the seven, to make sure that I hang on to this kingdom. So basically now, unless there's a capital city battle, this kingdom is gonna be mine, and this one I can fight for, we'll see. Now I gotta work on these other three while my position is okay. So I've just drawn this one. That's good for coming over here. And the AI has also gotten a one, which means it's gonna come and try to get cozy with me. So this is where I just played the AI will put a cube there, but I already have dominance in this kingdom unless it gets the capital, so it's not a huge deal from now. So what else do I wanna go for? 
I can come here for same rank or beast. That's not a bad idea, actually. This, this one is um, worth some points. Um, other options. I can play something here, or I can do equal or lower than lowest neighbor, but I have a lot of low cards. So I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this red panda while I've got it. And put a cube here. I'll draw up. Ooh, an eight. And then um, the AI will draw. So they've got an eight. So here's the thing though. They're not gonna actually put a card here because they have a two plus cube advantage. So that doesn't make sense for them to keep fighting for a territory that they already have under control for now. So they're not gonna place here. They're not gonna place here. They're not gonna place here. They're basically gonna move clockwise until they find somewhere to be, which would be here. How irritating. All right, so it's my turn. I think what I would like to do, hmm. So actually what I might do is I'm gonna place this one here since it's equal or lower than the lowest neighbor. And I'm just gonna pop a cube onto this kingdom. I'll draw up and then let's see what the AI gets. They get a two, so they're gonna come follow me here in order to solidify their dominance over this kingdom. But that's okay by me. I don't think I can get this one at this point. I could if I wanted to play my eight, uh, but that would just lead me to a battle. I can keep working over here. So since it's alternating even odd, I'm gonna go ahead and put an even card here and claim it with another cube. Then I'll draw up and the AI gets a shot. So they get a seven, so they are gonna come here and fight me for it a little bit. So I'm glad I did what I did. So now if I want to play here, I need to play another even, which again I have. So I'm going to play this even card and just keep making sure that I can get this kingdom. Now the AI gets a turn again, a five. So it's gonna have a double turn. So it can't play here, but it can play here and it will. Then since it has a two cube advantage already, it's actually going to play here and try to catch up to me in this kingdom. So my plan then is I'm gonna just go ahead, let's see, equal or lower than the lowest neighbor. I still don't have a one, forget it. I'm gonna play a two right here and just make sure that I keep this kingdom. And then I'm gonna maybe go ahead and end the round. So I'm gonna draw another card. And actually I should have drawn the AI's new robot card. This should be it, but we're just gonna move on. So here's the AI's robot card, robot bonus card. And then, ooh, okay. What will they draw? A five. Okay, so that means that they won't play here. No, no, no. Okay, so basically they can either take capital or play in a place that's not super advantageous. So they really are just gonna end up here. And I'm gonna put us out of our misery into this round. I'm gonna go ahead because this has consistently high values throughout the game and it's also got this 10 that I'm gonna want in H3. I'm gonna put this five right here and I'm going to claim a capital city. Now the AI is going to have one more turn and if they can claim a capital city, they will this time. So a five, they can in fact claim the capital city here in the five sector. So they are going to grab it. And then that is the end of the round. We've both withdrawn and it's time to score age one. So this was a pretty rough situation, especially because I was hoping to win this one and then it came in and claimed the capital city for me. So I've not actually had a very good round at all. The AI is gonna be ahead of me for a bit, but we'll see if I can catch myself back up. So the way that scoring works is you go, you start with the four kingdom and you work all the way up to eight. So, here, I definitely have a majority. One of my cubes is going to go to the council. I'm gonna take eight points. The AI does have presence here, so they will take three points. Then we can clean up. Here, I thought I was gonna be able to at least battle it out, but the AI snaked me, so they got seven points. And I'll get three. And they will get a council spot. Here, I got whooped. So the AI is gonna take six points for that and I'll only get three. 
So they're at 16 and I'm hanging out at 14. Not ideal, but it could be worse. Here, I definitely won that one. So I'm gonna get five points and the AI will get three. So one, two, three, four, five, three. So as you can see, we are tied right now. It's a pretty tight bot. No capital city was claimed, so we'll clean that one off. And then here I got beat, so it'll be five to three. So the AI is at 24, I am at 22. So we're close, but the AI currently has an edge on me, one that I would like to work on in the next era, the next age. So what will happen now is we've taken all the cues off the board except for the ones that are on the council. So we clean that part up. All of these cards are going to go into the deck to get shuffled again. So we're just gonna shuffle everything back up. And the cards that are in my hand actually stay there into the next age. So you can do things like try to stack and make sure you have higher cards going in. However, there's not a lot of guarantee because we're also gonna switch out these decrees. So when we come back for age two, there will be some new decrees for us to look at and work with. All right, it is time for age two to begin. I have my opening hand of cards that are left over from the previous age, and I have some new decrees to deal with. So here I can play tigers, red pandas, bees, or frogs. Here, all the cards that are played here need to be different ranks. Here I can play owls or red pandas. Here we need to play cards that are equal to or higher than the highest neighbor's rank. And here we need to play ranks that are plus or minus one um, from the card that was most recently played in the kingdom. Let's give the robot a bonus card, in this case, a number six lizard. And let's see what I want to do. So the kingdoms that are going to give me the most points this round are this one, this one. Yeah, so these are the most point heavy kingdoms, but I don't want to lose out on other ones either. So let's just kind of see what's up. I can come in here and start trying to like rumble with the um, with AI by playing some owls here, or I can make a good opening statement for all different ranks. So what I actually may do is just play the so copy here because I don't want to end up in a situation where another card is played here and then I don't have a different number to give. So I'm going to go ahead and claim some turf here, draw up and see what the AI wants to do. So they drew a three, they're going to come here and they want to play with me. But see now a five and a three are out and I just don't want to be in a bad situation. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and finish this section off since it's still all different ranks. I'm going to drop this Okapi and put a cube here to make sure that those eight points are mine and then I'm going to draw up. The AI gets a two, so they're going to try to come here with me, but they cannot. They won't claim the capital city. So they're going to come over here to this kingdom, which is one that I also actually really would like to score in. Nope, oh, that's my color. Wishful thinking. Uh, this is one that I'd really like to score in, but as you can see, they have quite the advantage on me. But I'm going to give it a try. Let's go ahead and put an owl here. And at least get a cube in before things go crazy. So I'm going to draw up. And let's see what the AI will do. All right, so the AI card is going to be a five. All right, so honestly, I don't really think I can win this one, at least not easily. So, oof, we might leave it where it is and start working on some other stuff. So here it has to be equal to or higher than the nearest neighbor. This is plus or minus one. And here I can place, ah, tigers red pandas, frogs, and bees. So let's go ahead and put a tiger there and grab this just to get a cube out. So I'll draw a card. I got some high numbers here. And then the AI gets a one, so they're gonna come hang with me. Stalkers. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tiger here really quick to get another cube out. The AI gets a four, so they won't come here. They won't come here because they have an advantage. They'll come here and place a spot, place a cube. Okay, so I'm winning here right now. I want to keep making some headway. 
So I think what I may do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put this frog right here. No, I'm gonna keep the frog in case I wanna play him here. Um, hmm. Nah, forget it. Let's play the frog. Because this equal to or higher than the nearest, I wanna keep all that pretty low. So we'll draw up again. The AI will draw a card. So they drew a four again, so no, no, yes. They will come hang out over here. I need to kind of get up in this zone myself in order to place a cube. So I think I will do that. I'm gonna go ahead and play, let's play this eight. It's equal or higher than, I wanna keep this five in case I need to play another cube down here. So at least I've got a cube in that kingdom. Now the AI will go. And they've drawn an eight. So the AI is gonna come here. So I wanna fight it out for this kingdom. And I also wanna put stuff here. So I'm actually gonna put this two right here. Since I have it to go, I'm gonna place this cube. The AI is gonna get a three. So they're gonna follow me over here. And now I get to play again. So that was one, two, three. I don't have a two or a four, so I can't play here right now. So I'm glad I played while I could. I can keep playing here because I have a tiger. So I'm gonna put a tiger there and draw another card. Now it's the AIs go. So what they're gonna do is follow me over here and keep fighting with me for this kingdom. Well, it's annoying for me, but it may be good for you because you'll get to see a fight. Although, I think I want to block it. I'm going to go ahead and play this frog and keep majority in the kingdom. I'm going to draw up, and then the AI is going to get a five. So they won't bother to come here. They will come here. All right, so it's my go again. I want to make sure that I can... I've got this kingdom mostly on lockdown. I'm going to lose this, I think. This one is going to be lost, so I want to see if I can win both of these. And that's my current big goal. So I want to try... I wish I could play something else over here, but I can't, because it's just plus or minus one. Um, hmm. What I may go ahead and do is force a fight over here and give the AI run for its money in this kingdom. Because I know it won't claim the capital, so I might be able to sneak it away. Okay, so now it's the AI's turn, and I do have a B to keep fighting down here if I want. Let's see. So the AI drew a seven. So it's gonna come over here to the seven kingdom, and it's gonna put out a cube. So now it and I are tied. I don't wanna give it up. So I do have a six. So I'm gonna play my six here and put a cube in this kingdom. Draw a card. Now the AI is gonna do its move. So it's another seven, but it's a lizard. So this stinks for me because it's going to, well, it's okay. So it's going to come here and it's going to tie me. And then because this lizard matches the seven, it's also gonna play the lizard. Normally it wouldn't play in the sixth spot, but there's no other open space that isn't a capital city. So it's going to go here. Now I need to place a capital city in, in this round. So where do I want to place it? That's the question. I can't place it here, so I'm going to lose this kingdom. I was kind of hoping something would work out, but it didn't. Um, I would really like to make sure that I get a 10 in the next round. That would be really helpful to me. So what I may actually do is play a different rank here and claim this kingdom. However, I also know I'm gonna win it, so I can guarantee a victory somewhere else if I don't do that. What would be my smartest choice? Oh, also, new robot card. Let's remember that, shall we? You know what I'm gonna do? Well, I can show you a battle, which I may choose to do. I can guarantee victory in this kingdom by taking this capital city, which is nice, but these guys are also even, and I can show you a battle if I don't do that. Mmm. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just play it safe though. I'm gonna play this eight, because so seven, eight, draw a card, place a cube. So my round is over and the AI gets one more turn. 
So it got a one. So now that I've claimed a capital city, it's not gonna follow me. So this just gets discarded. A seven, I've already placed there. So it'll come clockwise to the most logical spot, which is gonna be this eight. So it's gonna claim here, which actually is great for y'all because it means that it is going to have a battle with me over this kingdom. That's not great for me, but it's fun for you. All right, let's score this age starting here. So I have the majority of cubes in this area, so I will take eight points, but the AI has one, so it will take three points. So I was at 22, that'll put me at 30, 27. So that's one kingdom scored. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear these cubes out and leave this one here in the council spot. Here, uh, I had a chance, but then the AI got me. So what's gonna happen is, um, it's gonna get eight points and I will get three for being in the area. So 27, so it's gonna to go to 35 and then I'll get three. So I'm at 33 to 35 right now. This is tight, tight, tight. So we'll clear this off. Now we're in this kingdom where I got my butt kicked. Oh, that was bad. So the AI gets six points, but I do still get three. So. It's gonna to go to 41 and I'm gonna be at 36. I'm trailing, but hopefully I can do a little catch up here, yikes. Okay, so now I definitely won this kingdom. My dude's gonna to go to the council, which is great, and I'm gonna get six points to the AI's three. So the AI will get three points, I will get six. So I'm only two points behind right now. A lot of our success is gonna depend on who wins this kingdom and we are gonna to have to actually battle for it. So I'm gonna show y'all what a battle looks like. One of the things that's kind of a bummer for me is that I don't have amazing cards to go into a battle with, so we're just gonna to have to see what happens. But basically for a battle in this game, if it's two humans, you'll just play one card against one card and whoever plays the higher card wins, um, except that a one will beat an eight. So there's like a loop, eight doesn't guarantee a win. So the best thing I can do is play a five. And in a battle against a robot, what happens is that the robot's gonna draw three cards. Nah. We will flip them. Uh, okay, so if any of these cards had beat me, I would be out, but I have a tie. So what's gonna happen is that all these cards get discarded and we do it again. So fortunately I have one more five to play. So let's see if the robot's got anything for me here. Oh, three, four, and one, yes. Okay, so my five, I have won this battle, shockingly actually. And because I had one tie, I do get to draw one card back at eight, so that's good for next round. So I will win, even though the AI will go to the council, I get these five points and they will get three. So one, two, one, hang on. One, two, three, four, five for me and three for them. So we are actually tied. So I was behind last round. I'm on top, uh, but now we are tied at 47 points going into the third age. This got really, really serious. All right, so now we are all set up for the third age. Our council seats are taken. Um, these final scoring cards are all that's left and we have new decrees. So here you can play a B or no copy. Here's even ranks, so two, four, six, and eight. No other kingdom's beast, so different from the top card, top beast card of any kingdom either neighbor's rank or beast. So you have to copy your neighbor. And then here is gonna be um, either tigers or lizards. I have three cards to start with, so I'm gonna drop to four. We're also going to set an AI card, a robot bonus card. So let's think about this. One thing I definitely wanna do is guarantee that I get this 10 points. So I'm gonna pop this B right down and grab a spot and draw up. So now let's see what the AI's got in store for me. Could be bad. A three, unpleasant. So they're gonna come and follow me over here and decide that we're gonna jostle a little bit for this kingdom. I'm also gonna see if I can go ahead and bum rush this kingdom. Let's go ahead and do it. I have a two, an even rank indeed. Let's put them there. Ooh, and a copy. The AI is gonna get six. So they're gonna put a frog right here and claim space in this kingdom, which is also worth quite a bit. 
All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and solidify my control of this kingdom. There's basically no way the AI can beat me here now, which is good because that means that that's 10 points in the bag for me. So I'm gonna draw this card and then the AI is gonna draw a four. Oh no, so they're gonna try to place here, but they can't. So they'll come here, they'll place a cube. And then because a four matches the robot bonus card, they'll also place that card here and get me. No, so unless I totally wanna to fight it out for that kingdom, it's not gonna happen. Now we have a red panda eight as the robot bonus card. <sighs> okay, so one thing I could do is I can go ahead and come over here and try for no other kingdom's beast. I may do that because right now the top cards are an Okapi, a wolf and a frog and I have this owl. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my owl to put a cube here and see if it'll do something for me. So I'll draw up and then the AI will draw, oh man, a red panda. So it's gonna come here and be with me because it's a three. And then this red panda will get played and it's an eight. So it's gonna come over here and be in the eight kingdom. Oh, this is rough. All right, let's think about what I can do next. So either neighbor's rank or beast is gonna be tough and this is no other kingdom's beast. So hang on, we have a panda, an okapi, a wolf, but no frogs. So let's go ahead and put this frog here. That's what we're gonna do. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the frog. Let's put the owl down because that would work too. So we're gonna go ahead and keep fighting in here because that is a good idea to me. We need a robot bonus card. Huh. Now I can draw my card, which is gonna be a two. All right, so let's see what the robot gets to do. A one, so it's, it's gonna come over here and hang with me. So now the only way to even provoke a fight with it is to take that capital city in that kingdom. That is a huge bummer. All right, so either neighbor's rank or beast, Let's go ahead and put something here. Since I can, we'll just go ahead and put a purple cube here. The AI gets a five. So it's gonna come, it has a big advantage here. It won't place here, so it's gonna clockwise move around. So yeah, what's going on, right, is that it already has a two plus cube advantage over me here. It won't claim a capital city until I do. So it's going to come here instead and get up in my business, which is unpleasant. I can really use some tigers and some lizards right now, universe, come on. So again, either neighbor's rank or beast. Uh, what I can do is play this wolf, which I will do. Cause I gotta, I gotta fight it out for what kingdoms are left here. Draw back up. The AI gets a one, so it's gonna come hang out with me again. So the AI really wants to play over here in this kingdom. So again, either neighbor's rank or beast. I'm gonna go ahead and spin my eight to match this eight here. Oh, excellent. And then the AI is gonna get a five. So it won't place here. It won't place here. It will place here. So what's interesting though, is that I actually do have the advantage unless it gets the capital city. So I have this one in the bag. I maybe have this one. I could try to tie for this one and battle it. I should do something with this kingdom right now. So I have a lizard, so I'm definitely gonna play that and get a cube out. And then draw a card. Ah, oh, it wasn't a tiger though. Oh, that stinks. I'm gonna be stuck for next turn. So the AI gets a turn and it is a five. So it will not place here because it has an advantage over me. Skip, skip, five. So it'll play right here. Looks like I'm gonna lose this kingdom, people. All right, so basically, I think I need to give up on this kingdom. I might be able to do something over here though. I'm gonna go ahead and fight it out for even ranks. Let's see what I draw. Another even rank. So the AI drew a six. So here's the sixth kingdom. No, it'll place here because it can. It's the only open place that it can go. And then I'm gonna end this round. The question is what capital city do I want to take? 
So if I take if I take if I don't take this one and the AI does, then we're gonna fight. Nobody's gonna get this one. If the AI takes this one, I still win, so there's no point there. If I if I go here, I force a fight. So basically I can go here and force a fight and try to survive two fights with kind of okay cards, or I can guarantee a victory in three of the kingdoms. Well, if unless I get a fight force here. So what do I want to do? All right, I'm going to go ahead and play No Other Kingdoms Beast right here and finish this off. Draw up a card. Ooh, a two. That'll help if we get a fight. Great. And then it's the AI's last turn. All right, so what's going to happen is the AI is going to draw, oh no, a seven. So it's going to place here and it's going to claim this capital city. And so now we've both withdrawn and we are going to score and there will definitely be a fight here in this kingdom. Yikes. <sighs> okay. I hope I chose the right fights to pick. This might not have gone so well. Well, here went well, however. I got 10 points to the AI's three. So that's a nice little lead for now. Three. Here, the AI beat me. We can just totally clean up now. Here, the AI beat me. So it's going to get nine, and I'm going to get three. So 59, and I'm at 60. That is tight. That is really, really tight. And I wasn't looking. So now to hopefully, hopefully I can win this fight because I'm going to have two fights on my hands. Ooh, carp. Okay. So obviously the best thing to do, since this is a nine and this is a seven, is I'm going to have to fight for this no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and put my seven down. And let's see what the AI pulls. Okay. Five, five, two. All right, I won that fight, good. But now I don't get my seven back and I'm stuck with a five and a three and a two for this next battle, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna get this nine and the AI is gonna get three. So 69 and then 62. Oh man, this is tight, okay. So now I'm gonna have to see if I can win this battle. I have this five. One, two, three. Nope, it's got an eight and a seven. So my five got beat and the AI won this battle. No, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> okay, so um, the AI will get seven points to my measly three. So it'll go up to 60. No, 76, and then I will be at, oh wait, wrong one. Hang on, hang on. I was at 69, it was at 62. So it'll go from 62 to 69, and then I will go up to 72. But then I lost this kingdom, so the AI gets seven more points again to my three. So it'll go up to 76, 73, 74, 75. Oh, I lost the AI by one point. One point. That was brutal. But I really enjoy the Animal Kingdom solo mode. It is a lot of fun to play against the spot. It's quick, it's snappy, it's low upkeep. It's everything I like from a Carl the Cop solo bot. So I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough and happy gaming.